Bitcoin cracking 44,000 this morning. It is Wednesday, December 20th. It's 9.45 a.m. And we're going to cover where Bitcoin's at right now and if it can reach that target of 48 to 50K by the end of this year. We got about 11 days left. Hey, it could do it, but we're going to uncover it in this video. So if you're new here, subscribe to the notification bell, leave a like and a comment, and let's dive into it. So first off, we got to start off with the dollar. The dollar on a 12-hour chart looks like the momentum's ready to break to the downside so we have this curling in the tsi we want to see one of those scenarios where it looks like it's about to cross and it goes nope and it goes back down kind of like some scenarios like back here like right here it looks like it's going to cross and then it goes nope and it keeps going down but so far so good as far as the momentum goes if we look at the three-day chart you can see that stock RSI is pointing down. The TSI is pointing down. It's below that zero line. We go to a weekly chart. We can see that that weekly TSI is heading below the zero line as we speak. The blue is getting above the pink. And we're sitting kind of right at the, the top of this void line band. If we can break through 102, it's likely we're going to fall down to 100.5 to the 200 day, 200 moving average on the weekly chart. But so far that, that momentum to the downside for the dollar, we broke below that AMA ribbon, came up, got rejected by it. And now we're heading lower right now. So. That's what we want to see. Then if we go to the total crypto market cap, let's see. So we have the, the high here down to the low and we're so far breaking above the 786 at 1.6 trillion or 1.592. We're at 1.598 right now. We definitely want to maintain above this 786 for more upside here. We're on the 12 hour chart and it looks like we're getting ready to cross in and we want to see that by the end of the day today, have this confirm and cross through. Looking at the past times we've seen that, you know, November 30th, we've had rallies from that point. So November 30th, we've seen a cross up. Then back here in October, we've seen a cross up. So we want to see that maintain being the case. And if we look at the daily chart, you can see that the MACD has been dark red. Now we have a little bit of a late, late red and the TSI has stopped cold in its tracks. We want to see that 12 hour cross up because that will spill into the one day and the one day will cross up. But so far, so good. We're maintaining that $1.48 trillion level and the pink and the blue were looking like they're getting ready to cross and it said, nope. So that's what we want to see on the daily chart. We want to see that pink maintain above the blue. Because ever since back here in October, the pink's been above the blue. We've been going up. Um, so that was a close call yesterday. So we need to see some follow through by the end of the day today and for the rest of this week. Then if we look at the total three, so the altcoin market cap, but we're at 470 billion. I think we just hit a new high. If we look to the left here. Yeah. So we're retesting these highs over here back Saturday, December 16th. It looks like we're going to press up through, make a new high today on total three. We had that TSI maintained above the zero line on the six hour chart crossing back up. We look at the 12 hour chart. We could stop dead in this tracks. So we want to see that cross up. And if we look at the one day chart, yeah, we stopped dead in the tracks and that MACD is curling back in. And we have a higher low right now. So if we can see that six hour confirm through and have momentum today, then we're going to see that spill into the 12 hour by the end of the day today. And then they'll be solid as far as the daily TSI will start to cross up. And then tomorrow, Thursday could be a big day. So this could be a trend setting week as far as if we have enough juice to get to that 48K to 50K by the end of this month, we have 10 days left. It's about another 10% move for Bitcoin. So this is for the altcoins though. And if we take a look at that stock RSI, it is entirely cooled off. So seeing that cross up here and seeing the TSI cross up, we're going to have some more momentum here for higher prices for the altcoins. And we've been testing the top of that belly of the beast. We didn't want to get swallowed up by, by it. So we've tested it once, twice, three times. So getting above 476, 77 billion will bring us up here to 530 billion for the altcoins, for the altcoins on the three day chart. We want to avoid crossing down and that will come from having a good day today, having a good day today and tomorrow for the altcoins, having that cross up on the one day chart, on the 12 hour chart, right? So that's what we're watching there. Looking at Bitcoin, we're at that 786. So from the high that we had set here at 45K down to the low at 40K, the 786 is at 43,915. We're crossing up through it right now. If we look at the 12 hour chart, we're seeing that TSI cross up, the MACD go green, the pink's ready to cross up through that blue. And like really, if we can press up through 44.8K and really have a nice clean candle through 45K, I think we could hit that 48 to 50K price target real quick. We held that 12 hour EMA ribbon and comparing it to the last bull market, you know, in 2021, we never really broke that EMA ribbon 
going up here. There was times where we did break it, but we got back up above it. it never really flipped red. So we and we never touched that 200 moving average here until it was the bull market top. So that's what gave me the confidence to say, hey, it's likely we're we're gonna hold the line here, and we did. And we just need to, if we pull back down, a hold 41k. That's that level 41k with candy candle body closes. So looking at the eight hour chart as well too, we do have a buy now signal that flashed. Yep, so we had that eight hour buy now signal flashed yesterday. Last time we had that eight hour buy signal was October. That's what brought us up in this big trend. And then back here in September. So September it flashed at 26K and October it flashed at 27K. And now we're flashing it again. And so we we cooled off a ton in the, the momentum, but the price maintains. So we have the juice right now. As long as we can get above that 45K level, I think we're going right up to 48K to, to 50K here. So we, but we need to hold that level. So that's what I'm seeing there. It's solid signs. And then if we look at XRP, XRP is at 62 cents. We we're calling the bottom in the Discord in the market updates that day. We had did a bunch of charts here, additional updates. So if you're not already in the Discord, join it. Link is in the bio. But going back to XRP, if we go to the 12 hour chart, we are seeing that momentum start to head up in the stock RSI and the TSI. We're, we're getting ready to cross up. The pink's getting ready to come and uh, above the blue. And then if we look at, did we break the 786? We did on the micro. So the next level is around 63 cents to 65 cents. And then if we have enough momentum, we can come up here to 67 to 68 cents. And then if we look at the daily chart, we have the MACD starting to curl in now, the TSI starting to curl in, and we held the 786 from this low to the high here. We had the bodies close above the 786. So really now the key is to get above 63 cents because that's the micro 786 here. And if we can do that, we're going to come up to the high 60s, the high 60s. And really breaking above this trend line here, getting above like 65, 66 cents, could spell fireworks because like this is a long term trend trend line all the way since back here in 2021. Let me pull this up a little bit. Yeah, getting above around 69, 72 cents. We're breaking above all this this trend here and even pulling it all the way back to 2017. We could say that yeah, actually getting above like 85 cents. That would bring us above all the, the the trend line resistance here and that will spell fireworks. So that's what we're really waiting on for XRP. It can't go up too much because it, it might not be ready for the big explosion yet. It's probably waiting till the last moment. And we've already done this before, like pulling this trend line. It only has to like quarter one, then to quarter one to really decide the move. And with everything going on, the kind of the cycle where we're at, expecting to the upside. So it's just kind of, cooking up that pressure and then all of a sudden some event is going to push it up to the moon so for now xrp might be slow but we needed to get it above 63 cents and hold that support it needs to get above 63 cents so i'm going to leave it off at that guys i'll be in the discord giving additional updates again i had to hit the doctors today but that's going to be it so join the discord link is in the bio I'll give additional updates i'll be gone for about a couple hours middle of the day but then i'll be back at it so i'll see you guys in the discord and in the next video